Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Verhulst back with another video. Today we are doing our long-awaited ALC versus Classic video, so let's get into it. Alright boys, so I play on 4-4 Classic, and uh, I haven't played on 4-4 Classic since about... Um, right after Split 2 playoffs, right after the Sweden the Sweden LAN tournament is when I swapped back to 4-4. Because uh, I felt like I felt like I was too inconsistent on the the Gen Bird nail seeds, which is what I used to play on. From like, I played on Gen Bird nail seeds pretty much from like when I joined TSM up until uh, Split Two playoffs. And so I have, a, I have a good amount of experience on a lot of sensitivities. So I'd say the main difference between Classic and ALC is just like ALC provides a higher skill ceiling, but it's way less inconsistent because of that. So basically, it requires like ALC requires way more practice. And uh, way more like way more fine tuning your move like your movements to be good at ALC. I, I, I think I think ALC like ALC is more of like a you pick one sense and you like try and really learn that sense for a long time. Whereas on classic you can kind of you can pretty much pick like four 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 three. You play, probably pick five four. It doesn't even matter. And like you'll be good at it. Like you'll be good you're good with your sense like the second you start playing on it because they're like the margin of error with uh, classic is like so much higher than ALC. Like. Like Apex, Apex wasn't stupid when they when they were designing like their classic response curve. Like, they they made this response curve with like the highest like margin of error possible when like tracking somebody or like flicking the targets. So the way classic works is it's it's very uh it's like a, it's like ten response curve, which means at the start at the start of your thumbsticks like the end the little inner radius is very slow. But as you get further and further, it gets faster and faster. So like your speed raises like exponentially as you move your thumbstick out out further and further and further with classic. So it starts slow and like gets better as you go further out or faster as you go further out. And so you have a, you have a really good range of motions. Like you have really good precise movements. You can also be very quick. Whereas on ALC, if you're someone who likes zero response curve, it's linear all the way through. So at the very start, it scales up like the same rate as it would the rest of your thumbstick. So the, the inner rate of your thumbstick, it's very hard to be precise because it moves very quickly right up, right up the get-go. And so like those little tiny precise movements are hard because it's all, it's just straight raw input from your thumbstick. And you don't, you don't have a response curve to like slow down the, uh, like the inner rate of your thumbstick. Basically, like, you, you can't, it's hard to make slower movements with a uh, low response rate. Or if you crank it up to max, you can make, like, the most precise movements ever, like, ever. Because you've, like, it slows down the, uh, the start of your thumbstick movement so much. But once you get towards the end, it's, it raises exponentially. It's, like, it's really fast, but the start's just, like, super slow. And that's, like, the main difference between, uh, ALC and, like, Classic is the response curve, I'd say. And another thing is like, most people when they play on ALC, they'll have the they'll have their yaw and pitch speed the exact same. Whereas on classic, I believe it's the yeah it's the the pitch speed is always lower than the yaw speed. And so that basically means right, let's see let's do an extreme example. Put this on one. Hold on, do this both on one. So like I can move left and right. Like no matter how much I move my thumbstick up or down, it barely goes up and down. So when you're tracking somebody left to right, you have so much margin of error. Like it's really hard to like accidentally overshoot or undershoot the guy when you're tracking him. Whereas on linear, if they're the exact same, you have even more margin of error because you can accidentally flick upwards. Hold on. You can accidentally flick upwards, <laughs> upwards or down on accident while you're tracking somebody left to right. It's way, way harder. But, but at the same time, having higher like having higher uh, up and down speed allows you to control recoil easier because controlling recoil re like involves your up and down up and down look speed so well, controlling recoil is easier but tracking people is like way harder and so the general consensus consensus i'd say for like classic versus alc is um if you're somebody who's like plays a lot and you're really looking for like that tiny, tiny increase in skill. You could try LC. That doesn't mean like you're gonna do well with it. You could try it, but honestly, I would recommend classic over LC for almost everybody. 
Plastic is just way more consistent. Um, like it's built, the sensitivity is made to be consistent. Like it has low up and down speed, so it's really hard to like accidentally overshoot or undershoot somebody. And uh, it's got the slow, the slow inner radius turn speed, so you don't accidentally like flick or like jitter your aim at all. I, I personally think plastic is going to be better for most people. Only I'd only recommend like ALC to like pros or people who play a game a ton. Yeah, and as far as like as far as linear response curve goes, I know my video isn't really isn't really supposed to cover this, but like linear is basically but I'm pretty sure linear is just it's the same thing as classic, but you have lower response curve and your yawn pitch speed are equal. So like a pro, a, a popular sense between some pros is a four three linear. And it's good because your up and down speed is so high, so you can control recoil easier. And it's also like because it's easier to control recoil, like when you're tracking somebody, you don't have to worry. You don't have to like when you're tracking somebody left or right, like full speed. You're not moving your thumb up and down as much, so like you don't have to worry about recoil as much. But at the same time, there's a lot more like there's a lot more possibility to like accidentally look up or down too far on somebody while you're tracking one linear. But the recoil looks way smoother. Like, if I shoot my bolt on linear compared to classic, it doesn't really jump around as much, I'd say. At least at the very start of the burst, because it's so fast when I pull down. Whereas if I put it on classic, I really have to, like, kind of jolt my thumb down at the start of the, start of the recoil. But even a little bit more margin of error, I'd say, on classic. And as far as, like, flicking goes, I'd say for, for single shot, like this this is like an objective thing I'd say. For single shot flicking, like snipers, like wingman, I'd think classic wins like 100% of the time. Because you're not controlling any recoil, so that extra up and down speed is like totally useless. And you're, just, you're basically just going left to right when you're, like, when you're doing single shots. So I, I think the wingman is way better on classic. Pretty much every single shot sniper is better on classic, maybe except for the scout. But uh, yeah, I definitely, if you're somebody who likes using the wingman or snipers a lot, or like even the peacekeeper, I'd recommend classic for sure. But yeah, as I said, for most people, I would definitely recommend classic over LC. That's just my, my, my experience. I played on Gem Burden's LC for three months, trying to learn it. And even after three months, like, my aim was still pretty trash on it. Like, it requires so much practice to get good the sense like this the instant turn speed and like ADS speed and whatnot. Like here's here's me trying to like hip fire these targets on Gem Burn DLC. Right. Like I'm gripping my controller really hard right now. This is extremely hard for me. If I try and do it while strafing it's even harder. Now here's me ADSing. ADSing's a lot easier in his sense. I think I can actually like consistently target from the ADS. Now here's me on here's me on classic doing the same thing, hit firing. Now granted I have way more practice on classic hit fire. So it makes sense. But like I'm way more accurate, like you can tell, like I don't I don't bounce around as much. I also think in general, like classic, classic hip fire is always better than an uh, ALC hip fire, because like, you don't really need you don't need up quick up and down speed when you're hip firing somebody. You just need left and right pretty much. So classic's better for that as well. But yeah, this is, my, this is my first time trying to really explain like what I think about sensitivity. So let me know what you guys think about what I said in the comments below, and uh, if you want me to make another video like this, explaining in more detail or whatever you guys recommend, then let me know. Our boys, thank you.